First off, linear regression is an algorithm that every machine learning enthusiast must know and it is also a good place to start. As you know, it initially comes from statistics. It is a technique studied to understand the relationship between two variables by setting a linear equation. In applied machine learning, we borrow a lot of algorithms from many different fields, including statistics, and use them towards our goal of minimizing the error of our model, or making the most accurate prediction possible. You can see how statistics are very useful in machine learning. Since we never have a definitive 100% sure answer, it's always uncertain. Optimizing our confidence by minimizing the error of the model, which is where statistics comes in handy. If we dive deeper into linear regression, we will see that the most basic form has two variables, the dependent variable y and the independent variable x. You can see it as the equation of a line, which is y equals mx plus b, where x is the variable you would like to have the equivalent y result using a slope m and a y-intercept, b, found from a line representing your data points. In short, the slope decides the rotation of the line and the intercept decides its translation. So, if your data points follow a linear pattern, like this, you will be able to find those two variables to predict how a dependent y variable is affected in relation with an independent x variable. You can then use linear regression in a way to represent this relation we already know from our examples to forecast new observations. Of course, all your data points won't be exactly on the line, but by calculating the distance error between your points and the line, you will find the best fit with the lowest total error, which will be your final line. Which is where your machine learning minimization algorithm will come in play. Finally, given the representation is a linear equation, Making predictions is as simple as solving the equation for a specific set of inputs. With just an x value, you will be able to quickly find the corresponding y value by simply solving the equation. Finally, in machine learning we often do regression in a multidimensional form. But don't be afraid of this. It works the exact same way as it does in two dimensions, finding a relation between all the variables to predict a future observation. As I explained previously, linear regression is used to understand the relationship between two variables. This way, if you'd like to know how an increase in the gross domestic product GDP, of a country has an effect on the life satisfaction of its citizen, using linear regression could be a great and simple way to get an answer. For example, let's use this graph taken from a study made in European Union by researchers at Vilnius University using data from 2008. It shows the life satisfaction taken as a country's percentage of respondents saying they are very satisfied or fairly satisfied with the life they lead, versus the GDP per capita of those countries. Just by visualizing this graph, you may already see that it looks like it follows a line which will look like this. From Bulgaria to Sweden, where the increase in GDP per capita clearly increases the life satisfaction of its citizen. The line will be calculated by measuring the minimum distance between the points in order to find the most optimal line, which will look like this one. Then, if we add a new observation, say we have France which had a GDP per capita of around 27,000 euro in 2008, you will have a life satisfaction resulting of around 80%, which is most likely probable. In short, linear regression helps you find the relation between multiple variables based on the simple equation of a line.